what you want to do is take a single punch or blow to your person from the hero anywhere in your body and fall over without a second thought. Because if he hits you again, you will more than likely die. Yes. Why don't we just bring guns and shoot him? Do I enjoy my life as a henchman? It's not the best job in the world. But this year I made research and development, so I get dental now. I wanted to talk names. I don't think we have a strong enough sense of camaraderie around the lair. So from now on, when we're in the lair, we'll use our real names. I also wanted to direct your attention to the name Dr. Horror Man. What about it? Does it sound stupid? I like the way the doctor ties us all together. Listen, if I want advice on how to make a killer sandwich, I'll call you. All right. What's it like being an evil mastermind? Hmm. Now that's an interesting question. Dr. Deception. Deception? Who the hell am I deceiving? I don't deceive. I commit horrible crimes. It's like you don't even care. No wonder your wife left you. It's like being a grandfather in some giant family where everyone has to do everything you tell them to do, or you kill them. Last summer I told him his potato salad was all right. It was his mother's recipe. He took offense. Why don't I quit? My bitch of an ex-wife took everything in the divorce. <laughs> Frankly, I need the cash. Okay, since Buster's idea was so obscenely terrible, we're just going to move on. Sorry. I can't even stand to look at you. Leave the room. I need to buy it. Buster, you take your squad out to the street. Nathan and Emma, you work together. We'll try to pull off that bank heist, preferably on a day that Muscle's man won't be flying overhead. Nick, you just train the troops. We'll do it, Captain. We are a multi-billion dollar evil empire hell-bent on world domination. We have thousands of gadgets at our disposal. We don't need guns. I like my job. I like murder. And I like mayhem. What I hate is the new recruits making stupid jokes about my employee number. It smells like skunk in here, bro. Smell that? Yeah. <laughs> oh. You have something funny to say? Hmm? Hey, can I borrow some recruits for street mayhem? Go fuck yourself. Alrighty. Nate's a cool guy. We never really spent too much time together until he got promoted. What if we took over outer space? No one really owns outer space yet. No one really wants outer space. Oh, yeah. right. It's okay. We'll get it. Inner office romances are strictly prohibited. If they catch you, you die. It's as simple as that, really. <laughs> Why are you asking me? So, we were thinking, what if we took a shark and bear DNA and mixed them together and then trained the shark bear to do our bidding? Not bad. Certainly not fantastic, but not bad. What else you got? Um, maybe we could Shrink the bank. No, no more shrink ratings. Sorry, sir, I forgot. You're damn lucky I don't kill you. We don't use shrink rays because of my intern of evil. He was my number two. And basically, we made a shrink ray and we lost him. All right, so it seems as if we have a plan. Nick, uh, get your recruits ready to train giant shark bears. We'll do, Captain. 
I have an idea. Really? What is it? <clears throat> well, why don't we um, just have one of our henchmen become a trusted member of the police force? You know, start off uh, as a badge, but eventually work up to a point where he's all chummy with the DA. The DA will lead us to muscles, man, who will kill, and then take complete control of the town. Buster, that was a plan that you tried really hard on. And I'm sorry to be the one to have to tell you this, but it's unrealistic and terrible. We're going to have to go with bear sharks on this one. Was it ideas like this that made your wife want to leave you? I fucking hate my job. This isn't really a bad job. We get room and board and an allowance we can save up. I actually kind of like beating the traces of spirit out of a person. Good work environment is based on who you choose to spend your time with. But I guess nothing's really keeping me here. Depending on the person, they can make any situation a good one. Just try and make me look good or I'll have your family killed. Just kidding. But try and make me look good. <laughs>